What's up with the sickness dot net? It's your boy Coop, man. We back at you with another interview. We still kicking you the sickness, man. You know, we back in the nine one six again. Proud to introduce right. y'all, man. You know, the number one player, man. Bueno, what's up with you, Brody? What's up, big dog? How you doing, my guy? I'm good, man. How you doing? That's the that's the question. Man, I've I've been blessed, man. I've been I've been I've been doing me. I've been working. I've been staying active. You know what I mean, and and getting to the money, man. You know how we do, man. And that's definitely true. You've been grinding. Um, uh, for yes, the sir. fans who don't know, man. Um, you know, I, I, me personally, I started messing with Bueno. I got Winner Bueno in two thousand nine. Uh, through 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 my relative, Shake the Mayor. And uh, yes, and ever since then, we've been having a good relationship. But for the people who might not know Bueno, man, won't you give us a, a quick introduction of you, man, where you came from, how you started out, you know, how long you've been doing this thing? Well, for the people that don't know, my name is Bueno. I'm out of Sacramento, California, the capital of California. I've been in this game for about eight, nine, ten years, um, doing this doing doing this rap thing at a high level, man. Uh, you know, I work with a lot of, a lot of, lot of, lot of your favorite artists. Uh, put out, you know, some, some, some quality music and and, and and been to some, some great places. You know what I mean? And, and made a, a little bit of money along the way. So, now nah, I've been in this thing representing for this, for this West Coast culture, for this hip hop culture as a whole, for this Sacramento culture. Uh, you know what I mean? Just from a hip hop standpoint. Doing my thing, man, out of the south side of Sacramento, man. Metaview, Corella Gardens, low income house, man. So that's that's a little bit of it. To date, right now, you have how many projects out? Man, probably probably about twelve between the mixtapes. Um, I had a se- I had a Maloof Money series that was a uh, like a street album series, which was three three uh, three parts. Then I had, uh, you know, I had about three or four. I had about probably about four mixtapes. I lost count. And then probably about four or five studio albums, actual studio albums. And I'm, I'm working on my, I'm working on my latest studio album. And the latest uh, now, and that is, and Kings. that is King of Kings, which will be coming very soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, it's, it's, it's like like everybody says they everybody say my newest shit is my best shit, but not my newest shit is my best shit for real. You know what I mean? And anybody that that ever you know follow what I've been doing and know that my shit just keep, keep getting better and better, literally. You know what I mean? So um, you know that that's where we at right now with this King of Kings album uh, 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 coming out real soon. Um. You just released a single not too long ago featuring Clyde Carson. Is that uh, a record from the new album? Yeah, yeah, that's a record from the new album. It's, it's me, Clyde Carson, and D-Lo, uh, produced by Sickness, up-and-coming producer out of Sacramento who hot to death, been doing shit for years, but he a youngster still. Um, but yeah, 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 that's the, that's, that's the first record that we released off of, the, off of the new album. We got a couple more hot ones coming, but yeah, that's the, that's the one that's cooking right now in the streets and in the clubs and on radio. Yeah, speaking of radio, man, you, 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 you've been one of those artists who've been consistent, like you say, since the first project to the last, the music gets better and better, but you also have connections that other rappers don't have, like mentioned in the radio, so how was how has that run been for you? You know, being able to to uh, get these this, your music to the to the listeners through FM radio. Man, it's beautiful. You know, naturally everybody want to get on the radio because of, you know it's, it's it's one of the largest platforms that you can be on. Um, so it's always a beautiful thing. Um, just just grinding. You know, building that building that uh, building that buzz in the streets, and then having the music that 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 the radio. Uh, they can fit radio formats and have being able to do music that radio can, can grab and you know and radio listeners can can fuck with and shit like that you know it's always a blessing you know like everybody some some like me I ain't just no radio artist I make I make the radioist record and then I make the dirtiest record or the streetest record then I make the clubist record you know what I mean uh, some people stay in one lane I like to move around them all you know what I mean but I I definitely been blessed with uh, having the support of radio man and that shit you know it can't do nothing but help. Uh, who are some of the, the 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 people you working with on this new album, King of Kings? The new album is, is 
the new album crazy, man. We we uh, I got I got Jay Stylin on the record. That's stupid. Uh, I got um. I, and I try to keep them features low because I ain't trying to like just feature, just load up the album with feature. But I mainly worked on work, work with a couple of my partners. I got I got Jay Styles, that's a close friend of mine. We we didn't tour together. Uh, that's my guy. And then uh, two, I got Joe Blow on another uh, on another song. Um, and then and then D D and Clyde Carson, of course, on this on this uh, on this new single. Um, uh, and I got a few other people too in the bag. I ain't gonna let them all out yet, but I got a few other people too. Um, some a real nice feature that everybody gonna look forward to. <clears throat> a few things like that, and, and a little closer to the date of the release, we are gonna do more, more uh, let out more information about the song about about the uh, the album. But uh, right now, <clears throat> the album man is, is is dope as hell, and it's um and it, it's like I said, it's one of my best my best pieces of work. Let's get into some of this bueno history, man. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, 2009 yeah. MTV. That's an accolade yes, that you know a lot of a lot of artists don't get a chance to say they could add to their resume. Um, how did yeah, that come yeah. about, and, and how was that experience for you? Man, that was that was a blessing once again. Accolade that I'll be able to take forever with me. That that I that I appreciate. You know, when we get in this game. You know, we dream of being on MTVs and things like that. So. Um, nah, it was just a blessing, man. I had a record, 6 a.m., 6 in the morning, uh, featuring Bruno Mars. Um, due to label complications, he wasn't able to get in the video. So we shot the video anyway. So we was kind of, you know, we was, we was, we was kind of leery. But the song was crazy, and it, it, it had got crazy response all over the country. Because of the response it got all over the country, man, I got a phone call from, from actually, from, uh, from 40. Uh, E40, shout out to 40 and his people. Shout out to Chuck Kelly. Uh, my boy Chuck hit me up and basically told me, uh, uh, he said, he said, Blaine, uh, you know what I mean? You got one and we, and we, we reaching out. And I was like, I appreciate it. You feel me? Chuck from Street Cred. Shout out, shout out to Chuck from Street Cred. And, uh, we flew to New York, met with Tuma Bossa. Shout out to Tuma. Um, the, the cats over there at MTV, everybody at MTV. And uh, I mean, they they love the record. They love the video. They said, despite of, uh, Bruno not in the video, it's it's a, it's one of them ones. And they 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 still played it and put it on. And we it was crazy because uh, I'm sitting at the house. Where I'm, I'm sitting at my cousin's house actually. Shout out to Mighty Mike. And um and we we sitting there and they they, they we we basically get a little phone call. They're gonna play your song today, play your video today, but we didn't know when. But it was a it was a thing called California California Day or something like that, and uh, we sitting there and California Love is on by Tupac, and California Love is on and we watching the videos. Woo, we'll, you know, we walking through the house, we just kind of glancing at the TV every once in a while. California Love on, and then my video come on right after California Love, Tupac, and I'm looking like, hold on, not only is my video on MTV Jams, my nigga, but it just came on. After Tupac video, like, I can't even believe, now, all the Tupac videos I done watched in my life, and all the niggas that done came on right after Tupac, from Jay-Z to, to the Fat Boys to whoever, De La Soul, the De La Soul niggas, or whoever, you feel me? But it was like, you know, nigga, my video came on after Tupac, man, I, I could have quit rapping right there, you feel me? Because I was, I was done, you feel me? I was like, I did it. I reached the pinnacle of the game, you know what I mean? So that was just a blessing within itself, you know what I mean? And, uh, and luckily, we just rolled that wave, man, and, and kept on, uh, kept, kept taking this shit to, to new, new and higher heights, man. 